This video is going to have a look at the Fill Bucket tool, which is this tool here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to fill in the actual area of the image, and we're going to fill it with the background colour and also the foreground colour. Before we move on, I think it's important that we look here and we can see that this is black. Now that's regarded as the foreground colour and this one here is white and that's regarded as the background colour. If you look down here, you can see that this is says FG Colour Fill and we can see that that radio button has been selected. So if I now come into here having selected the bucket fill and I click it, then the whole area is going to go black because that's the foreground colour. If I now come over here and click onto this one, I'm now selecting the background colour fill. So I'll now come back into this area and click it and we can see that the whole area goes white. I will now come back to here and choose the pattern fill and come over here and click and you can see what's happened it's filled the entire area with what looks like pine wood. Now if you look over here you can see in fact that that says pine. What I'll do to emphasize the point I'll click on here again and I'll choose a different pattern. I'll choose this one here. Now that pattern is dried mud. So if I now click on here you see it fills the entire thing with what looks like dried mud. If you look very carefully now you can see that I've coloured one half of the image in black and the other half with white. And what I can do, I can come over here and I've chosen my pattern fill and here it says fill whole selection. So what I'll do, I'll just click in here and you can see that everything's actually filled. What I'll do, I'll just undo that and now I'll come down here and I'll select fill similar colours. So if I now come here and click in the black region, then it fills all of that with the pattern because all of the black was a similar colour. In fact, it was the same colour. If I undo that and then come over here and actually click the white, you see it's just filled in the white area because obviously the white is the similar colour. In this case, obviously, it's exactly the same. Now if I come back over here and click the fill whole selection again and then click in the middle we can see that it's all actually filled. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to change this to fill with foreground colour by selecting that radio button. I'm then going to click onto here to fill similar colours and then I'm going to come and I'm going to click in this region here and let's see what happens. You see it's beginning to fill in areas with black. It's choosing areas that are a similar colour and it's filling them in. And I'm let's choose another area over here. Let's just click there. Let's click again. Let's click again. And you can see it's selecting areas that have a similar colour and it's filling them with black. Now if I come over here and I increase this threshold a little, let's say to there, and if I click in here now, then it's colouring a lot more. In other words, I've chosen a colour and it fills that colour in and other colours that are close to it. And of course, it's going to fill in more of the colours that are close to it if you up this threshold here. Let's up the threshold a little bit again and click over here. And you can see it's filled in quite a lot there because I've upped the threshold an awful lot. Let's up the threshold excessively and click here. And you can see things, everything is the same colour because I've increased the threshold. Now let me undo all of that. Um, and let's take the threshold right down again and select this region. And you can see it as I'm clicking in different regions. Let's up the threshold again and click. And you can see that it fills more.